everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today I have an exciting video. I'm going to be testing out a new Lee's Watche palette in collaboration with Fashion. Um, I saw these in store and I didn't know that these were being sent to me and I really wanted to buy one of these because I heard the quality was spectacular and surprisingly enough I was actually sent the full collection which mind blown, thank you so much. It's amazing. That's amazing. Thank you. So there's three different looks. You buy them individually in store. Um, so let's just show you the three books. So first one is the Winds of Liberty. So when you first open it, obviously you get this little diagram thing telling you how to create a look. And then you get your four eyeshadow colors, a big mirror, a blush, a highlight, and then two lip colors. So this one is called Winds of Liberty. Then we have Soul on Fire. And last but not least, we have Go With The Flow. So I would love to do a look using all three palettes, obviously. I think that would be super spectacular. And if you guys are interested in that, uh, let me know down below if you'd like to see each palette in action. But today I think what we're going to do is I'm going to go in with this palette which is called Soul on Fire. And I'm just going to rock that. So if you would like to see me create some sort of look using the Soul on Fire Lee's Watche X Fashion magazine thing, please keep Okay, so first I'm going to take a little bit of my Benefit Stay Don't Stray eyeshadow primer. I will list down below everything that's on my face if you're interested. So with the Joe Fresh All Over Shadow Brush, I'm taking the lightest shade called Solstice. And um, I'm just going to start to apply that all over my lid. This is pretty much the same color as my eyelid. It's not um, lighter. It's actually a tiny bit deeper than my eyelid color. Okay, so next up I'm taking this Equal Tools, this is a little blending brush, and I'm going to dip into the shade Volcano. Just working this into the crease. I'm also taking a little Real Techniques brush, it's like a little dome shape one. Taking the same Volcano color, I'm going to run that along the lower lash line just on the very outside of my eye. And then taking a Quo Definer Shadow Brush, I'm taking the same color one more time, and I'm gonna work that on my lower lid. Next, I'm taking the shade called Flame. It's like a reddish kind of, it's like a red kind of volcano color. So I'm taking a little bit of that on the same Definer Quo Brush, and I'm going to start to lay that down just in the center of my eye. And I'm also taking a little brush we used underneath the lash line. I'm adding a little bit more of that shade Flame. And now I'm going to bring that about three quarters of the way over and mix it into the brown. Taking another flat defining brush by Quo, I'm going in with the shade Sultry, which is that goldish shade. And we're going to lay that right in the corners of my eye. Also taking this sultry shade and adding it into the very inner corners. Next I'm going to highlight my face using Solaris. This is the beautiful highlight in this palette. This palette is gorgeous. Like the pigmentation, it's not chalky at all. It's like cr super creamy, super buttery. So I'm going in first giving my face a nice highlight. Then I'm going in with the blush. This shade is called Passion. I like to do my highlight first sometimes and then kind of mix the blush in with it. Just kind of gives it more of a um, less stripey look, you know what I mean? If you just blend it in this way. Then I go back in with my highlighting brush and I don't add any more product. And I just go along the tops of my cheekbones again just to make sure. It just kind of looks like one, like the blush and the highlight is just one unit. I'm going to go in and set my face one more time using the Derma Blend. This is the power setter. I love this stuff. I'm going to go in with the Art Deco. This is the Mineral Long Lasting Eye Styler in number 59. It's a brown color. So I'm going to go in and just draw a line from the inner corner to the outer corner, no wing today. So we're going to go in and do that. So I'm using the Marc Jacobs Highlighter Matte Gel 
Eye Crayon in the color Pink of Me in the waterline. Next, I'm going in with the Elise Wache Dramatique Intense So Lux Volume Mascara. So I'm going to do a coat of that and then apply um, a more natural looking pair of lashes. And then I'm going to use the Annabelle Skinny Mascara just on the bottom lower lashes. So for my eyelashes, I just applied a pair of Quo number 806 lashes. I'm going to go back in with my Lise Watch A mascara, just add a little bit more underneath to make sure they look like they're all blended together. The Quo 806s are really nice because they give you some length and drama without looking too intense. So it's a good way just to add some volume and length. Okay, so then for my lip, I'm going to go in with the Rimmel. This is the lip liner in East End Snob. So I'm going to line my lips with this pencil. Then I'm going to take the lip color in this palette named Jennifer, which is this guy right here. has some highlighter mixed into it because there's a little flap that's supposed to stay over. It doesn't really stay over properly, so I do have some eyeshadow mixed in. But this is a really nice nude baby pink color. It's beautiful, so I'm going to go in with that. my finished look using the Lise Watcher X Fashion Soul on Fire palette. I hope you guys did enjoy this tutorial. It was easy. It was simple. This palette, hands down, is absolutely beautiful. It is worth every penny. It is affordable. I think it's around the 30-ish dollar mark. You cannot go wrong. You get four amazing quality eyeshadows, an amazing blush, an amazing highlight, and then we have some beautiful lip colors in the palette. This palette also has a darker lip shade. If you're not really into the pale, you could mix the two together. But overall, this is a great palette. It's travel friendly, has everything you need, and I created a beautiful look using it. So two thumbs up to this. If you would like to see me use the rest of the palettes and create more looks, please let me know down below. I hope you guys found this video helpful. If you did, as always, please don't forget to give it a big thumbs up. Do not forget to subscribe to my channel. And until next time, I will see you guys later. Thanks for watching.